So hello everybody. Um, I'm sure some more people will join shortly. Um, just want to say I hope everyone's had a good day. Um, especially you little ones, if it's been your first day back, that's pretty exciting. I'm sure it's a long time coming. Um, so firstly, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Paula Howes. Um, I play for Lewis FC uh, in the midfield. Um, I'm the number 14. Although I have been injured, um, I am going through an injury at the moment. So if you haven't seen me or my name um, on the pitch, that is why. Um, I'm also part of Lewis's Equality and Diversity group. So um, for those of you who follow Lewis, you'd obviously know that it is the first club in the world to um, ever value women and men the same. So... Um, I am part of that, that group, which is, you know, it's a proud thing for me. I'd like to be a part of that, um, which is also why the book that I'm reading tonight is, you know, it's exciting for me and uh, it's something that I really, really um, admire um, from Butterfly Books, who um, are the creators of this fabulous story. Um, so Butterfly Books is, um, they, they create, they've created a few books now and they try to... Um, you know, hit hard the uh, against gender stereotypes. So, uh, the book I'm reading tonight is "My Mummy Is a Footballer," um, which is actually a suggestion that was made by Lewis FC. Um, as you can see, they're in red and black, uh, best colours ever. Um, but they also have have created other stories, uh, such as "My Mummy Is a Soldier," uh, and "My Daddy Is a Nurse." Um, so, other sort of jobs that you know, maybe some people would identify um, as being male dominant or female dominant. So it's a really important subject and um, it's something that hasn't really been done that I haven't seen. So it's great and I think they should um, they should definitely be celebrated. Um, so I hope you will enjoy the book tonight um, and can fall asleep very well listening to me uh, read it to you. Um, I also wish, I wanted to add that I also wish that I had a book that was around when I was younger, um, you know, that my mum could have read to me about this so that it was sort of normalised um, and help people understand that anybody can be anything that they want to be, uh, no matter your gender. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it and I'm going to get started. I'm going to try and show you some of the pictures because the illustrations are also really really good but I am new to this Facebook live thing so you may have to bear with me and if you can't see um, or would like to see just drop it in the comments and I should I should um, I'll show you I'll try and show you anyway here we go my mummy is a footballer by Kareen Bryan and Jason Bryan Football is my favourite sport. I love it through and through. It's exciting watching others play and I enjoy playing too. I practice with my friends and we try out different tricks, like stop and go, the elastico and different types of kicks. Sometimes my mummy gives us tips. She really is a whiz. She cheers us on to do our best and the reason for that is. My mummy is a footballer, it's always been her dream, and the coolest thing about it is she plays for my favourite team. Football is fantastic, the pitch is where friends are found. After mummy drops me off at school, she heads to the training ground. And there she meets her teammates, all pumped and ready to go, no matter what the weather, be it sun or sleet or snow. Sometimes they work on strength and power and the coach asks them how they feel. Or some days they have a gentle stretch whilst their bodies take time to heal. My mummy is a footballer, the best you've ever seen. Her squad are like her family, united as a team. Football needs the support of many who work behind the scenes. From helping fans to find their seats to operating various machines. Some people help prevent injuries and make sure the team are well. Others have to make tough decisions like which players to buy or sell. There are doctors, lawyers and a manager who all play important roles and similar to the playing staff, they all work towards their goals. My mummy is a footballer supported by a crew. 
bringing us the game we love, making history as they do. Football helped people through World War I, it really kept them going, and whilst the men's game ground to a halt, the women's game was growing. One day in 1921, a very sad thing happened. Women were banned from playing and their hopes and dreams were flattened. They had to wait for 50 years till they could play again. However, when they did, the fans all cheered as they came stronger than ever. My mummy is a footballer. She holds a special spot. She's living the dream of many before who didn't get a shot. Football brings us together, especially on match days. I watch my mummy with my friends at home or even away. We all check out the club shop for the latest scarf and shirt. We get some food, then find our seats. We are ready and alert. We watch the mascot on the pitch and listen to the band, who play their music loud and clear. Then I chant and wave my hand. My mummy is a footballer. Her team are on the up. We will score so many goals and then we will lift the cup. Football can entertain us, in books or on our screens, and pundits share their thoughts and tips on the work of both the teams. When the match is over, Mummy spends time with her fans. Reporters ask her questions about her future plans. The day after a fun-filled match, Mummy takes time to relax. We talk about the week we've had and eat some healthy snacks. My mummy is a footballer and her greatest skill by far is being the best mum in the world. She is a superstar. And then I'll finish with these awesome pictures. I just think it's an amazing story. So I hope you all enjoyed that as much as I do reading it. I think I could recite it now by the amount of times I've read it. Um, but yeah, that is My Mum is a Footballer by Butterfly Books. And as I said in the beginning, they do have many other stories, um, you know, all hitting at gender stereotypes, which, which is huge. And I know that Lewis, as a club, really, really support them and really want to push them forward to creating more fabulous stories for all of you to enjoy. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, everybody get the book because it really is amazing, you know, it's everything about it. The pictures, the poems, I love it and I wish that I had a book like this when I was younger. So I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you all have a fabulous evening and you little ones, I hope you had a great first day at school, first day back at school and you enjoy the rest of your week. Stay safe everybody.